Hello and welcome back. This is your next video on Synthesizers and Samplers Explained. Again, my name is Matt Hayes. For this lecture, I'm going to be doing some recapping of the previous lecture where we talked about amplitude, frequency, envelope, and harmonic content of sounds. So I just wanted to give a few audible examples and some, some more visuals to kind of support what we went over in the previous video. So I'll try and keep this one short since it's really just review. I'll let you hear this. So we got sine wave square wave, sawtooth wave, triangle wave, and then we have white noise and pink noise. Frequency, let me go back to my signal generator here. So frequency we can control on this oscillator right here. So right now I'm set to 200 hertz. Remember hertz is counting how many cycles every second the waveform goes through positive and negative amplitude. So if I just sweep this, you hear it clicking and popping because it's, it's pure digital, um, which is a little beyond the scope of this tutorial as to why it does that, but you can hear the, the pitch changing. You hear it getting higher and lower in pitch as I move it. So we just interpret frequency, as I was saying, as the pitch of a note. So as I mentioned with harmonic content, the fundamental frequency, and I'm going to set the fundamental frequency of this sine wave to 200 hertz, that's the frequency we hear is the pitch. And I said most sound waves actually contain many other frequencies inside of them. The sine wave is the only um, exemption to that rule. It's the only waveform that has absolutely no harmonic content. It's one frequency and that's it. And I'll prove that by trying to boost other frequencies within this sine wave. Let me unmute it. All right, well, let me go ahead and get my EQ set up. We'll boost it a good 15 dB. That's going to be quite a bit louder, real narrow. So let's see if I can Okay, so I get to 200, we hear a little change there because that's the frequency I set it to. So we hear something at 200, but we shouldn't hear any other changes. All right, as I sweep this frequency control on the EQ up, nothing. So there's no harmonic content, no harmonic content in a sine wave at all. But if we switch to the square wave, now we should actually hear something happening. Right there, 1K. Right here, one there. So you heard as I got to certain frequencies, we heard a little blips, little little signals jump up. Um, that's when we got to the harmonic of that note. Um, and so let me go to the sawtooth because sawtooth, there's a um, a mathematical relationship that all these harmonics have to the fundamental. So if the fundamental's 200. Any possible harmonic within this waveform is going to be um, a multiple of 200. So 200, 400, 600, 800, 1000, 1200, and on down the line. Pretty much never ending. Um, now, Sawtooth, the reason I'm going to this one now, which is kind of an abrasive sounding waveform, but the reason I chose this one for this example now with the harmonic content is because it has every single one of those harmonics present in the waveform. Alright, so let me go to 400, and yeah, let me bring the gain back down to zero. Alright, so here we have just the, the sawtooth wave by itself, and now since I'm at 400, I should be able to pull another tone out of this waveform. Alright. And so as I mentioned, there's a specific kind of mathematical structure to it. So every multiple of 200, I should be able to find another harmonic that we can boost out of it. So if we got one of 400, now I'm gonna go to 600. We can hear another harmonic there. Go to 800. We hear another one. Uh, 1,000. 
1200, 1400, 1600, all right, and on down the line. So with these simple waveforms, we shouldn't really hear anything in between those frequencies. We should be able to really nail down the specific frequency for every harmonic within that sound wave. Okay, so again, harmonic content, as I was just trying to explain there, that's probably one of the more important things from this tutorial. It's, it's just additional frequencies that exist within the same waveform as the fundamental does.